Jessie here. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. For today's video, I have my weekly grocery haul. Believe it or not, this is actually not everything. I'm going to have a second countertop full of stuff. Not quite this large, but it wouldn't all fit today. I spent just over $200. I went to Walmart and Meijer. I feel like I actually got some really good deals today. And I feel like for the first time in a long time, it wasn't like devastating when I checked out. Like, yes, prices have gone up. Maybe I'm just getting used to them, but I feel like maybe it wasn't so bad today. So let me show you everything I picked up for my family. Um, it's all just kind of mixed up. I will mention the items from Meyer because there was just a handful of them. Um, if I don't mention it, then it came from Walmart. So first things first, I got these apples and they had these on sale for a dollar a bag, which was incredible. So they had an overabundance of them apparently. So I got the Golden Delicious and the uh, Michigan apples, which are actually my husband's favorite. So um, very excited about that deal. Also super excited about this. This was 25 cents for this celery. So again, as I walked in the store, the greeter was telling me, hey, we got apples for a dollar. We got celery for 25 cents. Phenomenal deal. Neither of these things was on my list, but hello, you can't pass up that deal. So got those. They also had the blueberries on sale for 75 cents. So I grabbed those. Uh, the tomatoes, I really should do what my friend Marlene does with her grocery hauls and write the prices on things. Before I start filming, because I can never remember them, I will have all of the prices for everything listed in the description box down below. I'll break it up by Walmart and Meyer so you can easily see how much everything was. Um, some of the really good deals I remember off the top of my head. Everything else, you know, not really sure. Speaking of good deals, at Meyer, they had the salad kits. Uh, they were on sale for $2.99 each, which isn't like the world's greatest deal, but that's still a dollar cheaper than they sell them for at Walmart, and it's a couple of dollars cheaper than they typically sell them for at Meijer. So I got the Southwest kit, which is green cabbage, romaine lettuce, carrots, pepitas, is that how you say that? Green onion, tortilla strips, cilantro, and creamy cilantro pepita dressing. I don't know if I'm going to like this one or not. I'm typically not the world's biggest cilantro fan, but I've never tried it, so I figured it would be a good uh, one to try. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm wondering if I shouldn't have just gotten my usual, like, Southwest Ranch one. I don't remember what that one's called, but we'll give it a shot. Sweet Kale Chopped Kit is broccoli, green cabbage, kale, Brussels sprouts, pepitas, radicchio, cranberries, and poppy seed dressing. And then this Broccoli Crunch is broccoli, cauliflower, sunflower, kernels, red cabbage, carrots, dried cranberries, uncured bacon, and sweet coleslaw dressing. So that all sounds good. I got some whole mushrooms. My husband was able to score a deer this past week, which we're really excited about. And we're going to make some venison tips and noodles. And I like to add um, mushrooms into my gravy for that. So I got those. Since we got so many apples, I thought it would be a good idea to grab some caramel dips so that we go through them quickly so they don't go bad. Grabbed some yellow onions. Those are also for that venison tips gravy. Um, I got a head of lettuce. We're going to make some turkey sandwiches on ciabatta rolls this week, so I needed the lettuce for that. My son Robert asked me to do some meal prep for him, some breakfast burritos, so I grabbed some eggs to do that. Um, egg prices still make me gasp every time, but I'm starting to get used to them, so it is what it is. 18 eggs. My husband asked for some bagels and cream cheese, specifically blueberry bagels with strawberry cream cheese, so I did grab that. You'll see the bagels in the next round. This round of stuff, I tried to just get like the produce and the cold stuff, and then the next round will be like breads and pantry staples, beverages, that sort of thing. Fiesta blend cheese for the breakfast burritos. Um, I got some sliced Munster for the turkey sandwiches. We're also going to have bacon cheeseburgers, so I grabbed the medium cheddar for that. Here's that oven roasted turkey breast for those turkey sandwiches. From Meyer, I grabbed this. This is a new flavor. Vanilla bean ice cream is my absolute favorite, so when I saw that they had vanilla bean coffee mate, I had to grab it, so I'm excited to give this a try. 
um, that came from Meyer. My Meyer has a much bigger selection of coffee creamers um, than my Walmart, but they are more expensive, so that's the trade-off. Still, I couldn't pass that up. I also got some Italian sweet cream, but that one came from Walmart. Like I said, they're cheaper at Walmart. Got some yogurts. I wanted some different flavors, so I got some vanilla, some blueberry, and some cherry for the fam. Austin asked me to grab a carton of eggnog, so I did, and then they had this Honeycrisp apple cider for a dollar, so I couldn't resist that. All right, moving on to some meat and frozen items. Meyer had their ground beef, the 80-20 blend, on sale for $2.99 a pound. We don't need ground beef. Like I said, um, my husband was just able to get a deer, so we have quite a bit of ground venison in our freezer. But for that price, I could not walk away. Um, was going to buy like pre-made burger patties to make our hamburgers. Because um, Austin is actually going to be cooking that night, and I just thought that would be easier for him. But at $2.99 a pound, we will make our own beef patties. So i got two packages here. As you can see, this one is 2.32 uh, pounds for $6.94, and this one is 2.66 pounds for $7.95. Great deal there. Got some frozen fish fillets because they sounded good. Don't mind my dirty stove, by the way, guys. Um, I got some onion rings and some of the checkers fries. Those are a family favorite. Uh, my camera battery's flashing. Hopefully I can get through the rest of this before it dies. A um, couple things of beef and bean burritos to have on hand. Bacon for those bacon burgers and also for those turkey sandwiches. I grabbed some chicken breast patties for us to have chicken sandwiches one night. We got a lot of sandwiches on the menu this week, I just realized. Um, chicken bacon ranch hot pockets. We were just watching Good Mythical Morning, an older episode I think it was, where they compared all of the hot pockets and they said the chicken bacon ranch was their favorite, so I had to get that one. I've never tried it before. We got some turkey sausage sticks for snacking on. Big thing of pork sausage for those breakfast burritos. Stocked us up on frozen vegetables, so we got some carrots, sweet peas, and broccoli. And then lastly, from Meyer, I got the fajita chicken breast strips. Those were on sale for $8.99. Alright, I'm going to get this stuff put away, pull out the rest, switch my battery. I'll be right back. Alright, my friends, round two is not nearly as big, but we still got some goodies here. From Meyer, they had soda in a bottle on sale. I haven't had Diet Right in ages because you guys know by now the drama with my taste buds being off from COVID. So um, I don't like cola anymore, but this used to be my favorite because it's caffeine free, sodium free, calorie free. So I'm going to try it again, see if I like it. Also, could not pass this up. This is cranberry raspberry ginger ale. Oh, yes, that's delicious. Back to Walmart now. I got the big thing of Mission Tortillas. There's 16 burrito-sized tortillas here. They didn't have any of the great value ones, so I had to buy the more expensive ones. Bummer. Cereal, I got two boxes, a box of rice squares and a box of crunchy raisin bran. Told you guys we're going to have those turkey sandwiches on ciabatta rolls. I'm trying to recreate a sandwich from Tim Hortons that I love. Um, so, yeah, really excited about that. Here's those blueberry bagels that I mentioned my husband asked for. To go with those turkey sandwiches, we're just going to start it with chips. So I got the sour cream and onion. Also got some peanut butter cookies because these are so good. They're just like Nutter Butters, but like half the price. Austin needed a new loofah, so I got him that one. Um, crackers. We still have a lot of cheese left over from Thanksgiving. So I got the flip sides and the buttery smooth like clip crackers also grabbed the crispy onions those are for on the bacon burgers um austin requested i get those got some zero calorie no zero sugar gatorade um the orange is my favorite you can see i've already taken one because i was thirsty in the car also grabbed some cranberry grape juice because austin asked for that big thing of unsweetened tea this came from Meyer. This is my husband's favorite. It's really hard to find. A couple of things of hamburger buns for the chicken sandwiches and the burgers. That stuff back there I've already showed you. That's the apples and the dip. Some more Jewish rye because 
I'm obsessed. And then a big pack of full of sugar Gatorade because my kids won't drink the sugar-free ones. Um, so I got the variety pack for them. All right, that's it, friends. Total that I spent will be right here up on the screen. Um, I think it was just over 200, might have been like 220, I don't really know. I went to two stores, math's not my strong suit. Um, but yeah, I thought I got quite a bit for the money this week. And I've just kind of resolved myself to spending $200 a week, it is what it is. Alright friends, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!